Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 13 of Cheap Pass. Uh, in this episode, we are going to Silverstone, uh, the home race of pretty much every team, and I think Haas as well. I think they've got a, some sort of location in uh, England as well. Alright, so we got some failed inspections. We got a rear wing that failed. Uh, so we're going to swap that out. Actually, we can't even replace it because we have to put on the old one. So we're going to install the old wing. And then we're going to swap out the failed underfloor. Alright, looking here at our ERS, we've got two that are um, below 50% on car 2. I think we're just going to bite the bullet and we're actually going to spend our first uh, 2.5 million in the powertrain department. Alright, and with us still kind of having uh, short suspension pieces, we're going to just go ahead and manufacture two more. Alright, so we have a email from Simone Resta. It's asking if we want to uh, approve a budget increase to uh, improve our design center. I think I can actually approve this and I will actually take this out of um, my facility spending. We're going to approve it. Right before qualifying, I'm going to make an audible decision here to take another 2.5 out to get another ERS. This one's going to be for, for uh, Porsche Shares car. All right, so we uh, applied an ERS upgrade um, or a new ERS system to our cars. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, we uh, get a 10 place grid penalty. So I might look at just kind of adding up a bunch of different penalties uh, to our, uh, our little problem here. All right, so I've decided to go nuclear and uh, I've decided to buy two new engines and two new gearboxes. Unfortunately, I have forgotten that I have not used the gearbox yet, so I cannot buy a new gearbox. So we're going to just stick with the old one. And here is the engine for Pelot's car. All right, so we have two brand new engines in the cars. Uh, we are going to be running a weird strategy for the race. So maybe around lap 15, we might be able to pit onto intermediates. Um, but we're just going to leave them on the hard compound tire just so they can kind of push through and kind of see what they can do here. Uh, we might find ourselves on the inners um, through a kind of really damp patch. I think that's going to be really, really important for us to uh, um, to only switch to inters um, and use them for maybe one stint through this part. And then around here, we're going to switch over to the softs or something, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that'll be our strategy for the race. Now let's jump into it. The British Grand Prix is nearly upon us. The drivers composing themselves on the grid ahead of 52 laps around Silverstone. Now I wonder, will things be going Lando Norris's way in this race? Starting P10 puts them in the right place to get some points, but there's still a lot to do. And the time has come. Let's go racing. Anticipation is high, and the drivers are ready for this. The British Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. All right, so we're starting dead last. Oh, there's already a wreck. Is that going to be a uh, safety car or something? Is that Yuki Sonoda? A big turn one wreck here. That's Sonoda, and is that Joe? <laughs> Alright, it is, uh... Yep, it is Joe. Alright, we're gonna push on here. We're gonna see what we can do. Um, we are not gonna be able to catch up at all, because apparently we, uh, are completely neutered on the first couple laps of the race. Uh, unless everyone's on push and conserve. There's another thing going on here. Gasly ran wide, so Gasly has now put a 2.4 second gap between us and Piastri. 17th and 18th place, that's uh, spots gained for both drivers in the first lap here. Um, I do not want to have them push at the moment, unless I feel a need for them to. Um, and I feel like there's a need for um, Porsche to push, maybe. Okay. And both of them deploy for a couple laps. We need to catch up to uh, Piastri. We're going to go eight times speed here. We're going to hope that we kind of catch up as there's more car carnage and chaos. All 
We've got no DRS yet. Waiting until we see the DRS sign go up. And then we're going to sit and top up. There you go. There's another caution. Man, we're just... Everyone's throwing it all over the place. All right, so Porsche is out in front of Gasly. Um, so Gasly is all the way down. Okay, so we need to see if we can catch up to Piastri, but we're not going to. So we're just going to have both drivers uh, sit and harvest for a minute because we just used up all of our ERS very stupidly very early. Um, we're going to wait until I can see that Botas gets by. We're just going to sit in Botas' DRS. Now, here we go. We're going to go two times on board, and then we're going to sit here. We're going to have neutral and neutral, and we're going to see if we can kind of sit here and hang. All right. Are we gaining? Are both cars gaining? I believe they are. So we've got 2.9 seconds ahead of Botas to Piastri that we need to close up. And I think right now we're in a good position to just kind of like sit. I don't think we have to do much management at the moment. We just kind of let him pass. Or Cheryl will get by him. I think this next straightaway here. There's a We've caution. A flag here. There's a crash. Let's have a look at that. Is that behind us? No, that's in front of us. So it's Lance Stroll and it looks like... Oh, oh it's Pierre. Oh, it is Lando. Way. I wouldn't be surprised if there were a few words exchanged when they get I'm skipping prematurely because I hate hearing the, the announcers or the, the team screaming. Alright, so Porsche is right on Piastri who's behind a freeze. So we're on Piastri, which is good. Um do we have any I don't think we have any course of action here outside of just kind of sitting. We're just going to watch. We're just going to see what happens here on the straightaway and see if we can gain anything on a... Okay, I actually do see something we can do here. We're going to have to try to get by Valtteri here with uh, Polo. Alright, and then we're going to catch up to Rocher. Gotta catch up. So we're gonna sit here. We're gonna fast forward. Just gaining on him. He's gonna run out of ERS soon. Oh, there we go. go to neutral. Second, I see DRS. Hello. We're gonna have him go harvest. We're gonna just see. Okay. Now we're gonna. Uh, I think we gotta try to get Porsche Air past Piastri into freeze. Uh, I don't want to do it. I think we got two. Okay, I got a bunch of penalties. We're going to go full deploy now. Actually, we're going to have him go attack on the tires and just see if he can gain all the necessary pace he needs. Blow's holding about a second back. We're going to have him hold. Oh, this is actually where the rain's looking like it's going to start coming in, so we're going to... Share 50% chance of rain. We're kind of looking over at the uh, the millimeters next to dry. If we have anything major popping up, all right, flow, you're good. You can have you deploy actually some of your energy so you can catch up. I 
Actually, we gotta have him deploy more. Come on, for sure. harvest now fortunately i don't want to but we kind of have to we're fast enough to kind of sit with them but any trouble we're gonna top up all right so we got rain falling now we're gonna run a little eight times here right, everyone's pitting for enters i think we're gonna do we're gonna do the safe thing with polo we're gonna pit polo onto the intermediates Oh, there we go. I was looking for that. Okay, so it's one... Where did I see it? Alright, one to four millimeters. Of rain. Okay. So we're underneath one at the moment. But let's go to time and speed here. Alright, it's getting quick, but we're gonna, we're gonna pit. Or share onto enters. Okay, and then we're going to keep Polo out, and hopefully it stays above one, and it's not going to. Or, okay, and there's a yellow flag. Please do not be for us. It is not. All right, so we're going to pit. We're going to go into enters now. All right, hopefully Polo can do something here. We're going to have him go neutral on his stuff. I know this is, like, bad. We're going to have him go aggressive on the tires. He's on harvest. He needs to go neutral. We're looking at the map here. So this is Polo. Polo's starting to lose some time. He's losing a lot of time. All right, so he's about two places behind Porsche. And there he goes, Porsche. So he did lose time. We actually lost a ton of time. That was not good. All right. What's everyone looking like on their wear? Are they using their tires up a little bit? Mm, yes. Okay, so we're going to just hold them on neutral and see if we can kind of baby this thing out. So 1.9 millimeters. Okay, so where are we with Porsche? Porsche is behind Ghastly. Okay. So we're going to go eight times speed here. We're just going to sit here for a minute. Just kind of process everything. Uh, Polo is catching or holding about steady with Sergeant. Uh, but we're going to think real quick. We're going to jump on board with Mr. Dale Porcher. We're just going to see if we can get him to deploy. And let's see if we can get him to uh, maybe catch Mr. Pierre Gasly. And no, he's not catching as much as he should, we'd like him to. We're going to now neutral. Where's Polo? Okay, Polo is still in 16th. Uh, I think we gotta let Polo just kind of sit there on his tires. He does have a little bit better tires, uh, but we're still looking at running these out. And they're gonna run out right around lap 65. Hmm. Hmm, what do we do? The science locks up. Polo is right on to freeze. There's a yellow flag. Please don't be for us. Does not look like it was for us. It is for sergeants. Do we get ahead of sergeant with Polo? We're still in the back bumper to freeze. And let's actually go two times speed. Let's actually look at this battle. We're going to have him go full deploy. Oh, come on. And here we've got a yellow flag at the last turn of club tries to get by oh that's quite an impact between them and thankfully after the all right please tell me no penalty all right it's on the freeze sweet uh what do 
are we looking at? Are we gaining on Botas? We're going to let him kind of use up his stuff a little bit here. What I meant to click. Neutral. Uh, we're actually... Hmm. If Pelo, we're going to have Pelo sit on light for a minute. And poor Cher is comfortable enough. We're going to have him sit on light as well. We're just going to see if we can get these tires to last. We're trying to out-save these guys. I want to have some tires left. We're still... Oh, it's another... What was the yellow flag for? I'm going to top up on both of them. Right, Piastri ran wide. Piastri is right behind Porsche. That explains the gap. Um, expanding. All right, we are catching Botas with blow on... Uh, Whatever he's on, so we're gonna focus on Polo as we go. We're gonna go 16 times for a minute here. So Polo got to buy Botas as you gap him. Okay, we're getting down on the water being pretty. All right, here we go. Okay, we're getting kind of cold on the tires. We're gonna let them go standard. All right, so we're 13 seconds behind Gasly, so we are that far off of getting into points again uh and albon is all the way up in ninth so that's gonna be not good for us if he finishes there uh we still have a ton of rain coming in but we're like petering on that one millimeter so not great We are catching Piastri with below. Not poor share. Piastri. Getting caught by below. Alright. Gonna go top up again. He's back to 1.4. Okay, we're trying to be good with our tires. Alright, we're doing really good with our tires, actually. Or specifically, below is doing good with his tires. Um Where are we in... Okay, so we're not close to getting lapped yet. Albon is starting to fall back to us. We have 17 seconds to Albon. Uh, we really need Blow to be saving some tire. For sure to be saving some tires. A little bit better here. And both these guys kind of sit here as we got some cars making some pit stops for wet tires. Okay, why would you be doing that? Is it that wet? That quickly? Hmm. Alright, so if Albon is staying out, okay, we're gonna pit below onto the wets. A little eight times here. Where poor Cher is. Oh, are we going to quickly pass over it before we get to the 95? Okay, so it should be drying out almost immediately. There you go. Whole track should be wet. Below is absolutely freezing his tires off. Neutral. Where is Below? Below is... Oh, how much time are we losing? Oh yeah, we're losing a crap ton of time. It is not going away. We gotta stick it out for too long here. Crap. Alright, we needed to bite the bullet there. Unless we try to stick through with it. Oh, we're killing our tires. Whoops. Right, how bad is Albon going to blow our doors off? Uh, yeah. Shoot. 
not good. Okay, so I guess we need to sit here. Ah, we already missed our window to pit again. Uh, I think it's gonna... Oh no, it's still raining. Oh god. Alright, we need the rain to be drying up quickly. There's a yellow flag now. Sergeant spins. Okay, we're gonna. Man, well, I think we got a pit. I don't want a pit. We're gonna we're gonna keep him out. <laughs> I wanna stay with like Oh, we're already losing our gap that we had. That's not good. And the water level's not dropping? No. Dang it. I think we just have to stick it out now. Oh, this is so stupid. I think for the safety of the car, we're just going to put them on wet tires now. I don't want to do that. Alright, we're going to have him go attack. And we just shot poor Cher in the foot. I didn't mean to do that, bud. My bad. All right, where's Polo at? All right, we're just gonna look at Polo for a minute. Um, Polo is getting overtaken by one of the Alpines. So we're gonna go a little four times, eight times here. Alright, so the water level is dropping. Um, we, we, oh man, we're gonna have to hit again. Alright, so Polo, or Cher is actually starting to overheat his tires. We're gonna have him going light. Same thing for Polo. Okay. So everyone's gonna start trying to pit immediately. So I think what we need to do is we look at the track map. Uh, we have to pit. I think we're going to try to just beat everybody with Polo first. Polo being the first one to get on pit road. We can see Polo here. We're Stappen boxing. Leclerc is not boxing. So Polo is going in first. Right, it's now damp. Alright. We're going to go with poor Cher. And we're going to have him go aggressive. We're just crossing that point where that should be taking tires. So we're going to watch Verstappen here. We're going to follow what Verstappen does with Porsche. Unless they're trying to stay out. To... Alright, there they go. Alright, so we're going to... Oh man. Do I just stick Porsche out for... What is it? 20 lap? Uh, not 20 laps. I can math. Six laps? I think we're going to just stick Brochere out for a couple laps. And just see if he can gain a position. Alright. Trying to keep an eye on all our stuff. We're going to have Blow go full deploy as well. Shoot. Yeah, Polo is gaining on or share pretty handily. All right, so we're going to pit Polo. Um, yeah, he's going to lose more than 20 seconds on those last couple stops. Oh, man, we're getting close here with Polo. Polo's doing a really good job. There's a yellow flag. I'm gonna go neutral with Mr. Blow here. We're gonna have him go actually aggressive because he needs to be gaining spots right now. Hamilton locks up. Okay, what are we looking at? We're still like 34 seconds off of Albon. Uh shoot. We're gonna have him top up. 
Uh, we're gonna have blow go full attack. A full deploy. Let's see what he's looking at. Who's he chasing down? Yeah, everyone's on enters now. Okay. Keep, all right, we're going to put Pillow on Harvest. I pro share on Harvest. Uh, Pillow is... Oh, there's Yellow Flag. What's Yellow Flag for? Stroll. Right, Stroll's out of the points anyways. It sucks. I wish I was somebody ahead of us. All right, so we're going to go neutral with Pillow. Pillow's got Piastri about 8 seconds behind him. Uh, we got 36, 36 seconds to gain to get to Albon. Uh, we're not going to get that. We're going to go neutral with our boy yeah, or, or share. See, I was going to mess it up at some point. All right, so it's 84 degrees. Can't push the tires. Unless we want to give it one last hurrah on the last lap. Actually, we're going to let them both go aggressive for the last couple laps. Alright, so he is by him. Pelo, one point, one position out, uh, 38 seconds behind. Hopefully, something will happen. We'll have him deploy, why not? No use in keeping her stuff. Go watch this little Verstappen Leclerc battle. Leclerc is not even close. Perez too far behind. Verstappen coming through the final couple corners. Oh, you gonna say it? Nope. Okay. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. Alrighty, we have used up all of our year S here for Percher. So, 11th place finish for Pelo. Percher will cross the line in 13th. Valtteri Bottas there, coming back to the team now. A 14th place finish today, no points, and lots to think about. Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. Win number five is in the bag. They pulled out all the stops, pushing hard to earn that victory. All right, so these are your uh, results for the British Grand Prix. We have Verstappen on top. The game seems to be more informed with uh, how it kind of should be with how things are going in real life. We've got Leclerc. We've got Perez on the podium. We've got your usual contenders outside of Stroll. Because uh, Stroll had his mistakes, and Alexander Albon gets in the points again. Your championship standings, Verstappen extends his lead. Uh, Leclerc kind of catches a little bit into Perez, but... As I mentioned before, uh, Max is starting to stretch his legs, including Red Bull. Uh, we are down here. Uh, Albon now moves ahead of Porsche by a point instead of on a tiebreaker. Up low, still the last driver with a point. Your constructors standings, Red Bull on top. They're just kind of starting to blow the doors off here. Uh, Ferrari solidly second. Aston solidly third. Uh, Mercedes solidly fourth. Alpine solidly fifth. And then we are tied with Williams for sixth uh, and hopefully that doesn't shine badly on uh, ourselves in the performance review that they're gonna force us to do. All right so after a topsy-turvy little race at Silverstone um, I don't really think we could have gotten up to where Albon was unless we absolutely blitzed the strategy. Uh, we made a dumb call with Porsche that kind of screwed his race over um, trying to stay out until uh, the enters came back in. Um, really didn't work to our favor and really screwed us but yeah I'm not upset with kind of how um how these weekends have been going i'm you're expecting the, the the team to kind of fall off on the second part of the year especially when we're restricting how much we can spend so our shortcomings are probably going to become a little bit more uh apparent later in the season 
Um, hopefully it doesn't affect our ability to not score points uh, through the rest of the season. Hopefully we can still uh, sneak out some good results. Um, and then having a better understanding of how those uh, wet weather tires um, work is also great because I have been wondering where that um, the millimeter gauge was for, for water. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, we will be in Hungary for the next episode. And yeah, hope y'all have a good rest of your week. Like, comment, subscribe, all that dumb YouTube stuff, and uh, peace.